Valentina is asking, Ksenia Evgenievna, in the video which type of wood to choose for making runes, you say that we should not bring sweets as offering to nature spirits. Is there a reason for this? When I come into a forest to get help from nature spirits, I usually offer sweet pastries prepared by myself. Is it wrong? P.S. I still cannot directly ask the spirits what they want. How can I learn that? Thank you very much. Well, let's start from the end, as it is exactly related to the question of intuition. This feeling, an intuitive feeling of what is necessary at a given moment, comes with experience. It could be some specific internal sensations coming through your most developed senses. Hearing, sight, touch, smell, everyone has their own dominant and not so dominant powers, physiological powers to be precise. Usually that's how these sensations come through. At our runic practices, many colleagues say that they can, for example, clearly feel the taste in their mouth of the product that should be given as a gift or offering to a certain spirit or god. As for sweet pastries, well, colleague, there has been a bit of a misunderstanding here. Bringing sweet pastries and other sweets to dark spirits, chthonic spirits, and the spirits connected, for example, with the goddess health, with the world of the dead, or some other dark forces, is not recommended. Sweet food doesn't suit them. They consume a different energy density of lower vibrations. As for the spirits of a place, forest spirits and field spirits, they perfectly accept high-carb gifts and have nothing against them, especially if you made them with your own hands. So basically you have not violated anything. I think that you just misunderstood whom you should bring such offerings to. Yes, spirits are different. They live in different realms and represent different forces here. It depends on what forces you contact. If you are going to contact the dark forces, the dead, the in-between forces, then you should, of course, bring strong alcohol, raw flesh and bloody offerings, like bloody liver. Bread, wine and even something like sweets would be a perfect offering to field and forest spirits. So if you go to the woods with candy, well done, you will easily find your way back. If you go without candy, you will end up wandering around until dark since you are in a foreign territory. Here you just have to feel it. And how can you feel it? Everyone has their own tool for this. Some just understand and know exactly what to bring. Some can see in their dreams. And some straight away start to feel the smell of freshly baked goods and understand what to offer. And once you form the intention to bring offerings to nature, you begin to receive responses to this intention coming from the intended force. You set the vector of intention in your mind and through this channel you receive the information about what offering you should bring. All you have to do is listen to yourself and act according to your feelings.